The election of President Trump saw immediate improvement in optimism polls. We're talking across all sectors, across the board. But I got to say, there was no group that replied faster than small businesses where confidence spiked the day after the election, parabolic straight to the moon. In fact, now, according to the NFIB, it remains elevated. It's near the highest point of all time. Only one time it's been higher than this, and that was in 1983. And I got to tell you, I think one of the reasons for the small businesses are now finally getting the funds they need to take advantage of this overall economic growth. Now, according to Biz2 Credit, small business loans have surged, these approvals rather. In the month of May, a big banks had an approval that reached a post-recession high of nearly 26 percent. Small business approvals over 49 percent. That was the highest in three years. And institutional lenders approved 46, I mean, I'm sorry, 64 0.7 percent of loans that established a new record with me now in the Fox Business exclusive small business administrator Linda McMahon administrator McMahon first of all I got to say congratulations uh, small business is the heart of our economy it's the heart of this nation and I got to tell you what you have done in your job I, I, I think it's underreported but I just want to say thank you first and foremost on behalf of all sp small business owners tell us how you've done this so far well, I would like to take credit, but I think certainly we have to get, give credit where it's due, and that's certainly to the, uh, the president's tax cuts. Because I heard when I was out visiting small businesses before the tax cuts were passed, they were asking me, are they going to get passed? We hope they're going to get passed. We're going to reinvest those dollars if they are. And that's exactly what businesses have done. And I continue to visit those small businesses. They are investing in their employees. They're hiring more. They're training more. They're increasing wages and benefits, and a lot of them, including the company that I visited yesterday uh, just outside Chicago, a graphite production company, said they were taking a good portion of their tax cuts and reinvesting them in R&D. So innovation is really key to the continued growth of our economy, and, and small businesses are doing it all across the country. Uh, Administrator McMahon, what what do you attribute though the rapid approval ratings, uh, approve, approvals of these loan requests? I mean, there was a time when the banks just completely shut their doors. Is there something mechanically though that you've done uh, to to make it uh, to make it so that banks are more willing to take these risks? Well, certainly SBA guarantees loans. Uh, we don't make loans; we guarantee right. loans, and so. For those lending institutions, we have made the, uh, the process of application um, much quicker because now it's all uh, online, all of the applications. So we keep trying to reduce the paperwork and the time involved to process the loans. And we have also a program called Lender Match. You can go online to Lender Match and a prospective uh, borrower can find the bank in their area who would make the kind of loan that they're looking for and it's an immediate response normally within 48 hours from a lending institution in that area for that particular business so i think we're continuing to make the process better and easier and we work all the time with our lending institutions across the country through our uh, lending relations specialists in our district office who are meeting with the banks to show them our products and certainly to be there to help guide uh, the whole process. I've seen where, uh, and I haven't looked at the data recently, but when I did last look, uh, there were new programs and, and certainly a, a, a noticeable jump uh, with respect to, to black businesses, Hispanic businesses. Is there, is there sort of a concerted effort on your part to make that happen? Well, we want to make sure that we are in areas, you know, to help that. Uh, we want to encourage our hub zone developments, and those are those are areas that, you know, in economic areas that where we need to go in and make sure that businesses are in and if businesses come in uh, to those areas and they employ people who stay in those areas, uh, that zone continues to grow. We're looking to set up, um, you know, cluster innovation zones. But one of the other things that we've done is with the president's focus and concentration on rural development, in fact, his executive order to, to reach out into our rural communities, uh, Secretary Perdue and I have signed a memorandum of understanding that we will work together to make sure rural development has the same opportunity for broadband, for lending, uh, for the kind of guidance that we can give right. uh, through our networking possibilities. And, you know, the Department of Agriculture has representatives in every county uh, in the country. And so we're making sure that we are communicating through cross-education of SBA and USDA officials uh, and, and staff 
educating them on the different loan programs that each of us have and the different right. mentoring programs, producing sort of a common brochure, if you will, and having that outreach into the rural community. So it's really important uh, that we're going to help the rural areas have the same uh, opportunities that others do. Well, you know, I know that the same tide lifts, lifts all economic ships, but uh, some need a little extra nudging, and apparently you, you, you are getting that job done. Uh, Administrator McMahon, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much, Charles.